I'm sorry it came to this, Grace. It's clear what your friend meant to you. That should have been me, not her. Don't say that. This was my fight, my problem. I'm already slated to die. If anyone paid the price... Your friend gave you the chance to not repeat history. Don't waste it. Grace, is that how Calliope died? Was she also attacked by the Furies? Do you remember? Yeah. She meant to use the mirror, but she never had the chance before... before they came. Uh, no doubt sent by the same person. Perhaps for the same reason. Who could send the Furies after me? Even Hecate had no idea who possessed that kind of power. No one does, not these days. Hecate herself would have been my guess. Zeus might have, in his role as King of Old Olympus, but he is long gone. <sighs> Clearly someone can do it. Unless they weren't summoned. They could have been responding to something you did unwittingly, something Calliope also did. Now what that could be? I'm afraid I have no clue. If the Furies are so powerful, why did they stop? They just... stabbed Freddy and left. They're not assassins, Grace. They exist to punish. They demanded blood and blood was taken. It didn't need to be yours. So if Freddy hadn't interfered... They wouldn't have rested, not ever, until they had their due. I know Calliope was there to use the mirror, but it was just feeling. I don't... I still don't understand why. There's only one use for that mirror. To speak to the fates. Yeah, okay, but why? The fates know all that is or will be. Destiny is theirs to command. Or so it's said. One contacts them either to know one's fate or to change it. Not that the fates are likely to oblige. Can these fates really control the future? They control the fate of all beings. I imagine it's they who give Apollo his powers, and they who write Hecate's books. So someone really didn't want Calliope messing with them? Or you, it seems. Could it have been the fates? Maybe they don't like being called on now for anything. They're not known to be vindictive. If they don't want to answer, they simply... won't. I don't know what to do. We still have no idea why Calliope wanted to talk to the Fates. Well, there is another way to ask them. I wondered how long that would take. Hecate is enraged. She's threatened to close off the reliquary entirely and forever. Athena is beside herself. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. You just had to keep pushing, didn't you? Until you got what you wanted. This isn't about me. We're out of options, Apollo. And you know there's only one other way to contact the Fates. Oh, how convenient. Wait, what? what's this about some other way? What are you talking about, Persephone? May I explain it to Grace, or do you have another option, Apollo? If so, now's the time. I thought not. The Fates will respond to the ruler of Hades, the true underworld and realm of the dead. What I propose is that we go there and take back the throne that was stripped from me. Is Apollo right? Is this something you planned all along, Persephone? Meaning what? What, that I knew what would occur at the reliquary? Perhaps you think I'm the one who unleashed the Furies upon you. You've waited for this opportunity for over a century. Waited, yes. Bided my time. And the moment has arrived. But that's not why you originally agreed to help me? No, that's not why. 
How do we get to Hades? Do we need a key, like the reliquary? Athena took my key, and the entrance at Lake Avernus was sealed long ago, which leaves only Hermes. They won't take you. They might, if you ask them to. Then why did you come, Apollo? To gloat? To wish Grace well? Or to actually help? Get us there. I'll lead us to the throne, and Grace can speak with the fates. It's simple. Well, it's another crazy plan, right? Grace... I know, I know, but... <laughs> there's no point in stopping now, is there? I can't. I'm sorry, but this is a step too far. And consider this, Apollo. Grace's mortal friend was slain by the Furies. According to the old laws... Her soul is in Hades. Wait, what? Freddy's in Hades? What? Persephone, why didn't you lead with that? I didn't want it to seem like I was playing on your sympathy, Grace. But you'll play on mine. Fine. I'll get you into Hades. But I'm not going with you. If that's what you prefer, by all means. It's fine, Hermes. Get this over with. Shall I wait here, or...? No, no. I'm not gonna lie to them. Hermes has always treated me fairly. Oh, hey, if it isn't Apollo and Grace, and, um, Persephone. Wow, uh, the whole gang, huh? I'm afraid I have to call in that favor. I need you to take Grace and Persephone to Hades. Oh, man, I don't know. Athena specifically said I wasn't supposed to take anyone, you know? No matter what. Oh, this is pointless. They're never gonna help us, Apollo. Can I ask what's going on? Nobody ever tells me anything, and you want me to get in huge trouble, but for what? Freddy's dead, Hermes. What? When did that happen? She was killed by the Furies. That means she's in Hades. Probably. I have to try to find her there. You're her friend, too. I, I know you wouldn't want to abandon her. Okay. Signal when you need to come back. You sure? Yeah, feels like the right thing. Be careful, Grace. And remember... The Underworld doesn't give up its shades without a price. I think I can tell her the rules, Apollo. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>